In the Dark Brotherhood, I found acceptance, love, so and the, the prodigal stars. murderer returns. And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Markarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment, and a little something else as well, from me. Consider it my way of apologizing for being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much need. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Oh, I have the utmost faith in your success, believe me. So let's begin. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener. Until next time, brother. Easy and useless. Lovely. I can't even keep the storm pumps. Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet? I... I'm sorry, I didn't realize. We had no idea who to expect. You understand, I'm... You're not dressed as I would have suspected. But please, don't let me keep you. Proceed to the kitchen straight away. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. It's gonna take its toll. That happens to me.
Anna will be overjoyed to meet you. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... Hmm, you're a Nord? I never would have guessed it. But where in the world did you learn to cook like that? Here in Skyrim? Or maybe somewhere less... Actually, you're not. Wearing a chef's hat, I mean. There's one right over there on the shelf. You can't very well cook without it. Absolutely brilliant. Now, now you're just as I imagined. Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the Potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Carrots? Really? Okay. What next? Of course. I suspected as much. Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Mmm, porker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh? What is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe after all. All right then, your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Tempers. 
these things happen. Quite. Get Here we are. Business God, business God I'm nervous. We'll go in in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. Yes, an unfortunate turn of events, that. But an isolated incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. For no... Danger what? Whoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one? Now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> oh, oh, how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I... What is that? Oh, the gourmet and the chef have poisoned the emperor. Get them! What? No. No, you don't understand. There's been some kind of mistake. I... Hello? Who's there? Time to end this little game. Someone Wolves do something. are actually fighting. from me. Ha! Ah, found you. Come on, come on! Hey, what was you doing? That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. 
We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. And make sure there's nothing left to bury. Never gonna come no. here. Oh. <laughs> um. Weapons, but by the order of the yard. Stop right there. Smart man. Lead, I'll follow.
us are now dead. I'm soon as much. And before you ask, no, I don't think it was you. <coughs> well, maybe I did. But you're saving my sorry hide just now sort of erased any doubts. <coughs> so, thanks. You've got that right. Only a matter of time before <coughs> roasted alive. Come on. Devil, I don't see you helping. I'm not exactly built for manual labor. Now come on, you've almost got it. One more. You must speak with Astrid, here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, 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 slow down, it's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. Here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! Very sorry, the Penitus Oculatus. M Mero, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, my Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, 
it's all my fault. You are the best of us. And I nearly killed you. As I've killed everyone else. Don't you see? It was me. I set you up. Wanted you dead. I betrayed you. The Night Mother. Everything I hold dear. And now Marrow has betrayed me. I just wanted things uh, uh, to stay the way they were. Before Cicero. Before the Night Mother. Before you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... Uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <gasps> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill... me. Do it, listener. Kill me. Please, listener, release my soul and let Sifter. <laughs> Thank you. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Bannered Mare in White Run. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener, and must bind this family together. 